Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely from Twin Flame Body. How are you today? In this video, I want to talk about men and stress because things are coming to a head. This is a part of that strange retrograde energy that we're in. It's also a part of the energy post full moon. So if you may have noticed, the moon is bringing a surge and there is a wave going through the collective of emotions that even if they're familiar, it's throwing people off to really understand like why them? Why are they feeling this? So the topic of this video uh, has a lot to do with men in stress, romance, and sex, okay? So things that people are looking forward to, like having their sacred relationships, their divine marriage, um, getting things into the physical and not so much like where it's in 5D and there's nothing here to show for it. Or if you are having twin flame relationship struggles, please pay attention to this. Because if you are a man, you're going to feel some of this stuff while life adjusts. Why? Because it's the end of the world as we know it, but I feel fine. So people that have already found their footing with this new level will probably feel mostly balanced. Not perfect, but more balanced. But what if this is new to you? If this is new to you, if your other half is a man, okay? If you love a man, if you have men in your life, if you have dads and brothers and uh, children, men you care about, friends, Please know that sometimes the stress is building up till it needs to pop. And there's things to know about men's bodies and there's things to know about women's bodies. So for men's bodies, it is a statistical fact that the heart gets greatly affected. It's a statistical fact that men will die of heart issues a lot sooner than females. And it's important for men to keep their heart healthy. It's also important to have proper stress relief, which actually should include romance, but should not always include just sex with anybody. That is what is going off the table, and people will find that their angers, their frustrations cannot be alleviated sexually. Not in the same way, not for the batch of people who are on their ascension journey. If you're on the twin flame journey, your twin flame body will not allow you to mingle your energies with just anyone. The heart demands monogamy because other people's energies have to come out. So this, this creates an issue because a lot of people's patterns are, how do they get their needs met? How do they, you know, not want to be needy, but they're codependent. They're, they've always have someone to turn to or there's sort of this harem mentality, or there is a mentality that isn't even realized about being a mentality that says, go call this person, or for this, go talk to that. In many ways, people have had to compartmentalize their lives. There's all these little compartments, but those boxes are too small, and couples that are coming together can't bring all those boxes with them. You're fitting yourselves back together. What about the romance? Well, I actually just went over a lot of ways to build the romance in my relationships class and my relationships book. What about sex? People wonder, what is the difference between sex, 3D sex, and sacred sexual? Sacred sexual includes love. It has a spiritual feeling element to it. It feels divinely blessed. It doesn't feel like a small little, you know, small, small, small uh, level of a relationship where the contact is fleeting, the orgasms are even fleetinger, and that it's very elusive. Like it eludes you. It seems to run away or it seems like somehow you grasp it, it slips through your fingers. So this is one of the things that has to shift and change for a lot of people 
even if people don't realize that those are old patterns and now there's new patterns. I don't care what word you use, patterns, programming, getting needs met because men have needs too. I'm going to tell you some of the lies that are being perpetrated out there. That all men are narcissists. All men on this journey are narcissists. It's not true. There are a lot of very sweet, very kind, very strong, divine masculines that too are looking for this very same thing that their other half is looking for. No matter if they are gay or straight, you know, hetero or homosexual, it doesn't matter. Or even if you call yourself non-binary, you're going to find that the person who you love is in one kind of a body or another. It's just that way. There's only two choices for the most part. Frustration. Levels of frustration that build up till people pop their top. What do you think that feels like on the other side of someone's union? Feels like this buildup of anger. Are you a female that's feeling so angry at men? Well, how does that come about? What about some of the stuff that men deal with on a daily basis? Hey, bro, um, did you get that report done? Uh, you know what? I know you're trying to be very casual or familiar. This is a business casual environment, but I would appreciate you showing some respect. Whoa, what's with the attitude? Why do I have to have an attitude if you're just not really addressing me properly? It's not very professional. Hey, bro, take it easy. You know, don't get all, don't get all postal on me. I, there's nothing I said about that. No, the report isn't ready. I, I think you're taking a tone with me. You better relax about that. I'm not doing anything. I, why do you think I'm trying to get it on here? I'm not looking for any trouble. I'm just here to work. Oh, you think you're just here to work, huh? Is that what you call it? You're just working. And, you know, what is this doing? Someone's creating tension and trying to put it on. But where is this tension coming from? These are coming sometimes from not getting other needs met frustration it's coming from past lives it's coming from the patterns of what people do to each other uh, uh, uh. and if one raises a hand and pushes guess where all that tension goes right over the heart right over his heart how is his true love ever going to feel him if he is feeling stress on his heart over the heart how healthy is that and the frustration, frustration at a job where you don't feel heard, you don't feel understood. How do you start to shift this? You have power in your soul. You have the power of love. You are in the process of gathering in the love. In fact, you're going to feel time compression, squeezing you, shoving things, squeezing and triggering you. The triggers are going to come. And I'm just keeping it real because nobody likes to feel like they are the light and the love and feel all this stuff, feel frustration, jealousy, annoyance, irritation, like you could just uh, 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 whack someone with a newspaper or worse. And there's, there's the stress is building globally because as much as people continue to adjust with these situations, they're living with people they don't really want to live with. They're stuck. They're having cabin fever. They're ready to bust out and disobey the rules or the regulations or the safety um, implications here. People are getting to the point where they're saying, what's the point? I don't care. So this is going to cause stress on the liver and the heart. The liver is where many people keep their angers. And then they want to drown it sometimes with alcohol or drugs or cigarettes or anything else. They're filling the hole, but all they're really doing is suppressing something that needs to finally get out. And again, not just men, but the masculine parts of you. So how many people have had lives where they had a dad like this? Very militaristic, very stoic. 
not too much emotion, not too much affection. And they had to go around like this. Yes, sir. Yes, I hear you, dad. I, I, I understand. All right, son. Good. I'll expect that. And then all they do is set out expectations and they think that they're in training like a recruit. But inside him, he's wounded. He needs nurturance. He needs, he needs, he needs. Is he supposed to feel as though he's needy or lacking or defective or there's something wrong with him? But that's how it feels sometimes. Why do I feel like I was such a mistake? Why am I even here? Why have I, what have I done? Like, why was I even born to begin with? Why, why didn't, God, sometimes I wish I just had a different family. Well, sure he does because his heart is over here, but his body is over here, stuck with someone that he's not even sure if the man understands him. And inside, this man is saying, I'm so proud of my son. He's just like me. He's tough. But he doesn't realize maybe his son just needs some other sign. Not just pride, but affection, warmth, consideration, acknowledgement. Many people look for acknowledgement and they look for it from someone they're chasing. They're chasing and chasing, but you're looking in the wrong place. Instead of looking at the human who probably has certain wounds also that they're trying to he get healed or get their needs met, you need to be looking above. And so you need to commune with your soul. This is what I teach. And I teach you how to do this so that you start to feel loved and supported and you don't feel like the whole universe is triggering you and taking your stuff. What do these energies do to people when there's outer stress from the universe, there's a time compression, there's family stress, there's financial stress, there's spiritual stress. Someone expects you to be Johnny on the spot in a world that's gone chaotic. What do you do? Well, first of all, pause, okay, pause, take the break that may not only be the break that you need, but that refreshes you. And you have to work with your body because your body has new connections. The twin flame body wants to use your new connections. Your twin flame body is not designed to use your mind, which wants to continue analyzing and be fearful and dualistic. That's not being an ego. That's just how duality is and has been. What if the mind says, Go find someone to cheat with. You need to have an emotional affair. You need to have someone who understands you. You need to have some kind of relief, somebody to talk to. Get someone who can be talked to at a professional level who understands what's going on, like I do. I understand this. I even understand it from a male perspective because I have the masculine in me too. And... You'll find that there's parts of you, sides of you, that may feel like they've been undernourished or not nourished at all for a really long time, for lifetimes. Everyone likes to be tough, and people do have that toughness in them. But what happens if you have to be tough and be tough and be tough and be tough, and you're that go-to person, putting on your cape, being Superman, and what are you getting out of it? And then you start wondering, what is it worth it? What's the point? Why? That's unrequited love. You cannot get your needs met. There is unrequited love. There's a sense that somehow this just isn't satisfying anymore. You haven't been satisfied in years. Because your subtle bodies can't get that satisfaction with just anybody. So it's time for a whole new level of this, which includes not only ditching the life you might have had, creating the life you will have, and the life you deserve with the love that is already connected to you. What about sexual relief, okay? When people are angry, guess what they do? They want to bust out, they get the tension here, guess where the tension goes? Boom, down. 
So if you're not taking care of your body parts, your prostate, your liver, your colon, guess what? It accumulates. Some things that should help you um, make sure that you are taking care of uh, your blood, get blood work. If you have cholesterol issues, plant sterols are very helpful. You can reach out to me for further instruction about that. I'm an intuitive. A couple of other things. Proper prostate health. health okay? Healthy. Men's health specifically for men's bodies, although this is also used for women for their uterus too. Sparingly is not something you take all the time, but that is something that's very healthy. Um, it's relatively um, mild. And again, if you need any assistance with that, I'm an intuitive. What else for stress? Something that is frequently commonly called the Siberian ginseng, Eleuthero. This is very good for that very high stress that sometimes makes men think that they can thrive. Like, ooh, I'm an A-type personality. I'm an alpha. And you go, go, go until you start feeling that, boom, you hit the wall and, you know, it starts popping for you. You start feeling like there's a breakdown. You start feeling like, Things aren't falling apart. Things are falling apart. They're not going your way. You feel welling up of anger that seems out of character for you. Heart palpitations, out of breath, fatigue. You know, like you're getting rest, but somehow you're still tired. Or that weird kind of apathy where it feels like you're just tired of it. You know, you know someone loves you, but you're tired of making efforts because you're getting pulled in all these directions. That happens to men in different ways than it happens with women. What about the games played? And what about people that you know or even yourself? Is someone playing you? Is someone playing a game with you? Are they a gold digger? Are, they, are you not sure where you stand with them? Are you being kept off balance deliberately? Are they taking this wait and see attitude with you? Are they running away and not giving you any reasons for it? Pay attention to things like workaholic. Okay, so there's alcoholic, there's alcoholic, there's drug use, there's cigarettes, there's marijuana, and those all will take a toll on the nerves and the mind. Because no matter how people try to rationalize it, for people that are ascending it's time to do a new thing. So there is a weaning off process that I also help people with. Workaholic, do you sublimate all the desires of your life into work? Do you find that there's a compartment where work is such a faithful mistress? It's always there, always there ready to help, always to turn to, and other areas of your life are very dissatisfying. Do you find that you are realizing You've been abused in certain ways. People who say they love you hit you or they pick fights with you or something. I know how to get this shifted. It takes a little bit of effort, but I do know. What about sexaholic? Do you find that sometimes you're, you're just not quite sure what it is you want? You can't almost even define it. Feels vaguely like something sexual or love, but do you really need love? Do you need love in your life? I have had conversations with people where they do realize they need love, but they can't seem to figure out how to get themselves unstuck from their current situation, especially if they're in a marital situation and especially if there's children involved. But there is a very high level amicable way to conclude these agreements. What about rageaholic? You may have grown up with someone who had rage issues, an uncle, a dad, someone in the family. Maybe it was worse if they drank um, or smoked because they just flew off the handle. Maybe they really had anger at their boss, but they would take it out on all the kids in the family. These are really deep things. These are deep things that affect the psyche. 
how are you supposed to have a healthy relationship with your own masculine if those have been what has been shown to you, okay? What if on the outside, you look like you have it all going on, but you find that some of these things come up for you and you're even afraid of your own emotions because you're afraid, what if I let go? What if I really just let go? What if I let that stuff out? I once had a friend who said to me, what do you do with your own rage monster? And I kind of, I knew where he was going with it, but I said, well, what do you do with yours? He goes, I keep them chained up inside. Because he was afraid to let it be loosened because he was afraid of what would happen with other people. But as we were talking about this, I realized something. He was afraid of his own anger. But when you're afraid of your own anger, sometimes it makes you afraid of the other emotions and that you really haven't been able to get needs met. You know, so it's all kind of tangled up here. And yet it comes up welling up because it needs to be dealt with properly. Now, some of this stuff takes people years in therapy to get rid of it. But I'm here to tell you with your twin flame body, you can start getting it shifted even in addition to any other thing you're doing within a few energy sessions. So I do energy sessions for the spirit subtle body, which is some of this stuff here, work, alcoholism, addictions. Um, it could feel like reproductive and emotional things. It is family patterns and behaviors, sexual addictions, things like that. Clear your sexual energy, clear out the karma from your vision. I have those as separate standalone um, recordings to help you. What about the psyche? This is where a lot of the deepest wounding is. And this will not only affect you, it affects the other half of your soul. Because you'll find that not only have you had similar enough experiences of being hacked, attacked, and I mean physically hacked. Men have attacked each other's bodies, maimed each other. I mean, this is not pretty stuff. They've done some things. And how do you have a healthy relationship and be the divine masculine where you're operating from another level in, in a world gone mad? How do you do that? You do it with the brand new body that is the gift here, the twin flame body that is the brand new template of relationship from 5D, which also makes you healthy, which also bridges those gaps for you in anything that's missing, including things that have happened to people. So for example, it's part of the reason people who are um, you know, missing a part like a breast or some surgery has taken, they can still feel that part there. They call it phantom, but that is the energetic body. What if you have had something happen to you in a past life and you can feel it viscerally and it, you are worried to talk to anyone about it? I understand those things, especially if you have any birthmarks. So please know that this plan is more for, you know, just one couple it is more than um, the women. Um, women are holders. They've been the bearers of life. Men are holders of other things. And together you work in tandem. What are you able to let go of and trust that you'll be not only caught, but loved and supported? Have you had someone circulate the energy in your body to where you can really feel what this is supposed to feel like? Have you felt a level of sacred sexual love energy where you've actually been able to create it. Not a spontaneous experience because those are sometimes the things that get you awakened. So I'm here to help people get their light body up and running from the inside expanded because expanding yourself is actually how you, you hold more love. But expanding yourself is also how you keep that stuff away so that if you're not getting your needs met, your things like frustration, angers, irritation, jealousy, rage, 
tendencies to self-sabotage somehow, you can start making it go away for good. Full removal, including whoever did it to you to begin with. You don't want to know or see or hear. You get your brand new fresh start because you're here to be in love. So thanks so much for watching. Look for the links below, reach out or email me at twinflamebody at gmail or twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. Check out my website and I will be having uh, more live webinars coming up. One is going to be on harvesting your love. And I also do these sessions. These are brand new. In other words, this is opening you so that you can integrate the template. That is not a given, you have to participate, which surprised me too, but it's a good thing because then you customize it and you have the experiences that nobody else is having. So thanks so much for watching. I don't like to see the people around me who I love and care about uh, be in discomfort or stress. And I know a lot of people may need some assistance with this, and that is what I specialize in. I read the heart. I don't read the head. Thank you. Bye.